Do you want another? 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 What's up guys, it's Eric with Monday Family Man. How you guys doing today? Coming to you today with another fantastic tracker that I've been wanting to do for a while. As you can see from the title, this is the Nut 3. I've wanted to do this product for a very long time. I've seen multiple versions of this on Kickstarter. I've seen it around on Amazon and other various websites. And I was actually contacted by one of their wholesalers or distributors and they gave me the product for free. But this will be an honest review. So let's go ahead and start with the unboxing. And as you can see, this is the brand new uh, model called the Nut 3, which was on Kickstarter just recently. And I think it was funded in this past June. Um, you can see that it works with iOS and Android. It's a smart anti-loss tracker, uh, one touch find. This is very similar to most trackers on the market. Um, but what's nice, it does have a replaceable battery. Dun 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 dun! I wonder what color they sent me. I believe they have four different colors. The white color, it comes in a green color, it comes into like pinkish color and like a grayish color. There's four different colors. Let's see which one I got. There we go. All right. And this is the gray one. And here's the tracker right there. We'll take a look at it and see what else is in the packaging. And this is the lanyard. There's no keychain or anything. It just includes a single lanyard. And then on back, there's like this little hologram just to uh, tell you that you're getting an authentic nut product and it's not one that's like from a gray market or something like that. Apparently they might be having issues with gray markets. It feels great. I like there's a little grooves on the top. It's uh, a little bit easier to hold. And then right here at the top is where you put the lanyard through. One downside to this lanyard is it's probably a little bit easier to cut or accidentally break rather than a key ring or something like that. Um, not saying that it will break, but it's definitely, I would think, you know, a piece of string is easier than to cut than a piece of metal. You know, metal is pretty easy too. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. Boom, there we go. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so it's a CR2032 battery. But what's weird, which I kind of like though, is the speaker is actually on the cover right here. I wonder where the sound comes out from because there's holes on the side. Okay, we'll figure it out. We'll do a sound test in a moment and we'll see how the sound is. Um, but this is very similar to other trackers on the market where you have a, a, like a disc uh, making the sound rather than like some type of speaker. It's actually larger than most discs that I see in other trackers, so I wonder if it's louder. And here's the two contact points right there that uh, allow the speaker to work, or allow that disc to make a sound. Let's go ahead and put the battery back in, cover back on. You gotta be careful right here when you put the cover back on not to break this little hole. Uh, this looks like where you press the button, actually presses the button inside using that pole, so if you break that pole, your button's not gonna work anymore. One thing that I like about this lanyard is that you can easily remove this off of like a keychain just by unscrewing this. Oh, I thought you could. Uh, most other lanyards that I've seen, you can actually uh, undo this. But the way this is, this lanyard is designed, um, there's really no point in this little piece in the middle. Um, other lanyards that I've seen, you can actually separate right here in the middle and have two pieces so you can take it off the keychain. I hope in the future they do come up with the lanyard that you can disconnect in the middle. Alright guys, let's go ahead and download the app and see what we get into. Like I said earlier, this is available on iOS and Android devices. So you're just going to go to your App Store or Google Play Store and we're going to search for that type of nut space. I actually do not know if this is the right app. Like the logo here has nothing to do with any of this. One thing I noticed is that there's a lot of different websites that sell this and say officially nut or the, you know the packaging right here says their website is called Nut Space, which is not the name of the website that I was getting research on. Um, I think it was not official nuts was the website. So um, it's very very confusing. Uh, who the manufacturer is, uh, who the wholesaler is, who's the retailers. Um, it seems like to have this really 
huge gray market for this product and you know I think they know that and that's why one reason why they put this authentic uh, logo on the back to make sure that you're getting our authentic product because apparently they've been having issues. All right, here we go, that was it. If you look at the instructions, there is a little logo right there. That's the same logo that's in the App Store. Go ahead and download that and get into it. We're gonna click open. All right, that wants to access your location even when you're not using it, okay. Real time locating, safety region, that's your tethering, separation alert, silent mode, and find it mode. And we're going to hit start. Ooh, they want a mobile number and password. I don't know why they want a mobile number, so I'd rather not give them my phone number. So we're going to sign in with an email address and password. We're going to hit sign up, email, password, hit done. All right, they want to send you notification, which we're going to allow. Email has been sent. We need to verify our email. So we're going to our email room. Congrats, your email has been verified. All right, now we'll go back into the Nut app. All right, we can scan the QR code. Find uh, Bluetooth tracker. Please put your phone closer to the tracker um, within four inches, okay? All right, guys, let's quickly look at the instructions. It just says, uh, long press nut for three seconds until it rings and flashes. Let's go ahead and do that. Boom, there we go. Showed right up. All right, we're gonna click on it. And now it says connecting to net three. And now it's asking you what it is and these are gonna be my keys. And you can name this something else if you want to. And then you hit finish. Press the button twice to call your phone. Long press the button can mute the tracker when it's ringing. All right, and then you can see it's uh, the GPS location of the tracker where it's connecting to your phone. Cause once again, these devices do not have GPS. It uses the GPS in your phone when it's connected via Bluetooth. Let's go ahead and ring it, see what it sounds like and see how loud it is. You hit beep right there. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, not too bad. It's not super loud, but it's not bad. Let's go ahead and take out the sound meter and see how loud it is. All right, so you can see there the loudest is 86.3, not too shabby. All right, let's quickly do a couple tests. The first test is gonna be ringing the phone with the app in the background. So we're gonna go ahead and shut down the app, but keep it in the background. Come on, there we go. And then double tapping the nut. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and try this with the app turned off. And as you can see here, all apps are off. And now we're gonna double tap on the nut and we get nothing. We get a little ring from the nut itself to let you know that it's not connected but does not ring your phone with the app not running. The app has to be on for the device to work. In the near future, I will be doing a distance test on the Nut 3, so if you guys want to see that video, click right up here uh, and see if it's available. All right, so on this main screen, that's all you have um, as far as your options is your beep. And then we're gonna click on here. Here's where you can uh, rename it if you choose to. And then you have find it mode. If you want to disable the tethering um, or what they call the uh, smart anti-loss tracking, you can just put it into find it mode and that would just allow you to find your phone or find your device and that's it. It would turn off the tethering. But if you do have the tethering on, you have the option um, of your ringtones and duration. And then uh, you also have the option of turning on the sound on the tracker itself. So if you leave your phone behind, maybe your tracker will ring if you have that setting on. Let's go back into the phone alerts, see what settings or see what sounds there are. There's a couple different ones. 
And then you can have the duration like I said earlier. And then you also have the option of an alert when it reconnects. So um, say for instance, um, when you walk away or alert you, but when you come back, it will also alert you if you have that option on. And you can see here on the location, which I'll be blocking out the map of the location of where it last connected or where it is currently. Uh, let's go in here to more. Uh, you have your user ID. Let's see if we can change it. Yes, we can change this if we want to. We're gonna make my modern day do that. There we go. Uh, for some reason, they want to know what gender you are. And then down here, you can put in your mobile number if you want to bind this to a certain number so no one else can take your tracker. And then you can have your email address, which I'm, I'm blocking out. And then the last thing right here is WeChat, which I choose not to use. It's just an instant messaging program that's used overseas. Then you have silent mode, um, which is really cool. You can set silent regions. Uh, let's go in here. You can turn that on and off. Uh, company which is, this is uh, like a geofence. Um, so if you don't want the lost notifications to go off, um, like at your home or at your work, you can set these regions right in here. You can have the work one, you can have the home one. Um, you can add custom ones right here, or you can do it based off of your Wi-Fi network if you choose to. So you do have the op both options, which is really cool. And then you also have the option of a silent period. Let's go through in there. We can add it and we can say, uh, we can name the silent uh, period and then we can say from a certain time to another certain time that we don't want these devices to ring. So like for instance, uh, maybe you're at a friend's house, you're sleeping over, you don't want to set it as a silent um, location just in case you lose your key leave your keys behind there but maybe when you're sleeping you just don't want it to ring in at night so you can set a silent period which is really cool options these they give you a lot of different options for silent stuff which is awesome because a lot of problems with other trackers is that the devices go off too often and uh, it gets annoying and you just usually turn the whole thing off just because you don't want it to ring in it guys it seems to be very cool um, I love the silent zones um, there's a lot of different options for that um, it's one of the only ones that I see that give you so many options so you can keep that feature on and not worry about your device going off at the wrong moment. So let's wrap up this video. I appreciate all the love and support. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will definitely answer them when I get a chance. Hit that like button right over there. It definitely motivates me and gets me in good spirits. If you guys want to check out these other two videos right there, I would truly appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click this blue circle right here. I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.